He is known for his expertise in Latin and Greek, which he largely taught himself. He is recognized for his critical analysis and attacks on influential figures in the field of rhetoric and jurisprudence. He is Lorenzo Valla, a philosopher who made significant contributions to the field of philosophy. Lorenzo Valla, a renowned philosopher and scholar, was born in Rome into a family of lawyers and intellectuals. Though he received some formal education from prominent teachers in Rome, such as Leonardo Bruni and Giovanni Orispa, Valla's thirst for knowledge was largely self-driven. His passion for rhetoric and language led him to champion the works of Quintilian, which caused him to clash with Antonio Losci, a scholar who held different views. In his pursuit of academic recognition, Valla entered the priesthood in 1431, hoping to secure a position as an apostolic secretary. However, despite his extensive network of contacts, he faced repeated disappointment. Undeterred, Valla embarked on an itinerant life, traveling from one university to another, accepting short teaching positions, and delivering lectures across various cities. His reputation as a brilliant scholar eventually reached the ears of Pope Nicholas V, who invited Valla to Rome. In the heart of the Vatican, surrounded by the wealth of knowledge in the Vatican Library, Valla worked tirelessly on his most significant work, the Repastinatio. This monumental project showcased his critical examination of the Donation of Constantine, a document believed to grant vast powers to the papacy. Despite his remarkable contributions to scholarship, Valla's legacy faced a tragic fate. He passed away in Rome and was laid to rest beneath the Grand Bronze Monument Lex de Imperio Vespasiani, located behind the altar of St. John Lateran. However, his tomb and epitaph were destroyed years later by Pope Gregory XIII, a staunch believer in the donation of Constantine, who removed the bronze to the Palazzo dei Conservatori. Lorenzo Valla's story is a testament to his unwavering pursuit of knowledge and his dedication to challenging prevailing beliefs. His critical examination of historical documents and his commitment to intellectual integrity have left an indelible mark on the field of philosophy and scholarship. As he once remarked, my life will recur in exactly identical fashion, and indeed, his ideas and influence continue to resonate with scholars and thinkers to this day. Lorenzo Valla, a renowned philosopher and scholar, was known for his sharp intellect and his willingness to engage in literary and theological disputes. One of his most notable conflicts was with John Francesco Poggio Bracciolini, which erupted in Rome. Their exchanges were filled with extreme language and showcased Valla's quarrelsome nature, combining humanistic elegance with critical wit and venom. He was also an outspoken opponent of the temporal power of the Catholic Church. Despite his confrontational reputation, Valla's brilliance and writing prowess garnered the admiration of many, including Martin Luther. Luther held Valla and his writings in high regard, considering him a precursor to his own ideas. Another prominent figure, Robert Bellarmine, acknowledged Valla's influence on Luther. Even Erasmus, a prominent Renaissance humanist, praised Valla's expertise in Latin grammar, stating that there was no better guide than Lorenzo Valla. Valla's contributions to philosophy and scholarship were significant, particularly in the realm of language and grammar. His meticulous analysis and critique of Latin grammar earned him widespread recognition and respect. His work served as a guide for many aspiring students of Latin, including Erasmus himself. Today, Valla's legacy continues to resonate, reminding us of the importance of critical thinking and intellectual debate. His fearless pursuit of truth and his commitment to challenging established authorities serve as an inspiration for those seeking knowledge and understanding. Valla's reputation as a brilliant philosopher and his impact on the realm of linguistics and academia make him a significant figure in history. Lorenzo Valla, a prominent philosopher of the Renaissance era, found himself deeply intrigued by a document known as the Donation of Constantine. This document claimed that Emperor Constantine I had bestowed the entire Western Roman Empire to the Roman Catholic Church as a gesture of gratitude for being cured of leprosy by Pope Sylvester I. However, Valla suspected that there was more to this story than met the eye. In the years between 1439 and 1440, Valla dedicated his time to dissecting the Donation of Constantine in an essay titled, De Falso Credita et Ementita Constantini Donation Declamatio. He meticulously examined the document, searching for any inconsistencies or evidence that would question its authenticity. What he discovered challenged the prevailing narrative. Valla's analysis revealed that the internal evidence within the donation contradicted its supposed 4th century origin. The language used in the document suggested a vernacular style that could be traced back to the 8th century. Armed with this knowledge, Valla put forth three compelling arguments to dismantle the legitimacy of the donation. Firstly, he pointed out the anachronistic use of the word satrap in the document. Valla argued that a Roman emperor like Constantine I would not have employed this term, further eroding the credibility of the donation. Secondly, he highlighted the poor quality of Latin used in such an important text. 
The constant shifting of tenses from, we have proclaimed, to, we decree, exemplified the linguistic shortcomings present in the document. Valla's findings were not without consequences. His work, driven by a desire for truth and intellectual integrity, caught the attention of the Catholic Inquisition. In 1444, he found himself standing trial, facing potential imprisonment. However, Valla's fortunes took a turn when Alfonso V of Aragon, with whom he had a close association, intervened, ensuring his protection. Valla's dedication to uncovering the truth behind the donation of Constantine serves as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and questioning prevailing narratives. His meticulous analysis challenged long-held beliefs and shed light on the inconsistencies within historical documents. In our daily lives, Valla's philosophy encourages us to approach information with skepticism, dig deeper for evidence, and not be afraid to question established norms. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.